Asphodelos. Second circle. As always, we see that. All right. So let's do this. So first thing to take note of in this fight is the arena. It is a square-shaped um, arena. Touching the outer wall is instant death. Be warned. Um, this is a tank stack mechanic. You both need to be there or have really big cooldowns ready to go off. Alright. This mechanic. Look to the direction that the, the red is going to be doing everything in front of it. The orange is going to be um, a line going over the boss. Doing it again. The boss will always return to the center when it does that attack. So don't be too concerned. Murky Depths. Gonna be raid wide damage. Sewage Deluge. And that goes out. Everything but the grates and the corners that are elevated are going to be um, covered in sewage, basically, and you'll take damage if you're standing on it. Painted Flood. Targets random players with uh, Do Not Stack on Me. Predatory Sight. This is the Stack Dorito. Stack on other people or you will be feared and will run into random stuff. Okay. The knockback. You want to pay attention to the knockback, get to a place where you're safe. You won't get knocked into the sewage water. You can tank the boss wherever it ends up after that, because it will return to the center for certain attacks. All right. I'm gonna disconnect its head, and the head is gonna do a charge for half the arena. Do not be standing on that half. Once it's gone, you can move back, position yourself again. We've got multiple effects going on here. We've got a stack for a laser beam. And the explosion targeted. You have to pay attention with those because the next one that happens should be while we have painted water all around us. Boss goes back to the center. Here comes the sewage deluge. Painted flood. As long as you are not stacked on anybody, you should be good during that. Right, we've got that going on. Myself, I'm standing in a relatively safe spot. Sewage eruption. Alright, for this one, you're going to be moving. Everybody will get targeted. Most players will get targeted with that, and I'm getting hit by that. That's on me. It was my mistake. I was not paying attention, and... Ah. 
I'm popping my major cooldown. Haven't gotten a single heal since popping it. Association. Okay, head comes off. Going to the left side. So, you have to pay attention for this because it'll put you... If you get to the wrong spot, you're going to get knocked back right into it and you are going to be dead. Right, we got dissociation again. Ed is over there, so just ourselves appropriately. That going off. That I'm the one with it this time. And I'm down. Good thing the other tank was there. Not think that was going to be doing enough to kill me. Otherwise I would have done a cooldown. So that is entirely on me, but you die you learn in this game. Not have Okay, you do not have enough to do anything. I'm going to stay here and take over. So, the tank buster is going to come out a couple of times. Double tank buster is one you got to watch out for. Okay, Spoken Cataract. Get out of the way of the... Get back to your spot. Good eruption, that's gonna be... Everybody's gonna have to run. Oh, and we gotta move, gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. Okay. Painted Flood is coming out. Let's get a heal off on Killer. Don't be so rigid that you won't move if you see that somebody has some problems. Trying to get kills out on those that are low on life. Like myself. Association again. It's gonna come off and it's gonna go on the left side. But the boss is also gonna do the knockback. Alright. It's been a little sloppy, but that's this is the hardest fight, I think. You just have to pay attention to everything that's going on around you. And most importantly, you gotta pay attention to where the other players are. Like I just got hit by that. Pop a couple cooldowns so that I survive. Spirit feels a lot more than I expected it. Double impact. Up that. Up Divine Veil as well. I heal off on myself. 
Yeah, I... In this fight, if you're a tank, try to stay close to the other tank. Just to be on the safe side. Um, I hope that everything has been explained appropriately. It can be a difficult fight first time coming in. As I was saying earlier, do not be so um, rigid in your playstyle that you will not accommodate the movements of other players. Especially in a raid like this where you have limited space to move around. Go. Hippocampus is down. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it informative. If you want to see more Final Fantasy XIV videos, please like, follow, and subscribe. The usual YouTube stuff. To catch me live, check out my Twitch. Link in the description. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.